Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. So this video, it's a continuation of part 7a, where we have first learned about SAP connector. Okay, so how it's configured, how it's connecting the SAP system with the with the Microsoft Exchange server. Okay, then uh, we have learned about the administration part, the SCOT transaction, SCOD transaction in SAP. Like the configuration of this you know the SMTP the facts okay all these configurations are made okay so now in this part in this video we learn about the monitoring okay so when requests are actually sent out from the SAP system how to monitor them okay so if errors occur like how to troubleshoot them so that part we'll cover here now the SAP send process a send process reads the message that are to be sent from the queue of the business communication interface, determines the appropriate nodes and transfer the messages to the external communication system. Messages are therefore not only sent externally, and therefore only sent externally for regular send process are scheduled. Now, you try to send out from SAP, okay? So you have made all the required configuration, the connection the exchange connected now you have to actually start sending them out from the is it once the production system is in use or say even the development or test system you want to send any message actually okay you have to schedule some job or you have to manually trigger and send it out from the sap system okay so what all messages are to be sent out from the sap system are you know collected in a queue okay and we have different nodes like we have one mail we have a fax etc so depending upon you know through which node this particular message is to be sent that is to be determined and it has to be sent accordingly so messages are therefore only sent externally if the regular send processes are scheduled the send processes are scheduled as regular background jobs for test purposes you can also start a send process in dialog you can limit the send process to one or more communication methods or you can schedule the send process for all the communication methods. So two options are available for scheduling send process. In R3 job maintenance here, you can create jobs which start the ABAP program RSCO NN01 with the requested variant at the requested time as a background job. And the other option is directly in the SAP Connect administration as a background job or in a dialogue mode now so you have to manually send them okay or you have to regularly schedule some periodical jobs which send all these requests which are part say like for every half an hour i am running a job okay that job is nothing but it's an abap program this rscon01 so once this abap program is scheduled as a background job it will check what all requests are piled up okay and then depending upon time like because it runs every half an hour so it checks in that half an hour what all requests are piled up and it checks like see this is a fax request okay it has to be dispatched through the fax node okay this is an internet a mail communication so this has to be you know sent via the smtp node whatever it is okay so in a production environment you can't you know manually like select every process and send manually so generally it's scheduled as a background jobs so you either schedule it manually or in the sap connect administration you can activate it as a, a you know a background job or in a dialogue mode that's what you select them manually okay and then you send them or you dispatch it you know you schedule it via a job so the job dispatches all the requests which are piled up in the queue now mostly in the production environments a job runs every hourly so that's how you know production systems uh, uh, configuration is done so the send the mail or well, and here one more thing we have to consider is like mail fax we can have different jobs okay so if the fax job runs it will pick up the entries which are to be sent through the fax node if a mail job runs sap mail okay then you can all the 
uh, you know uh, entries which are you know to be dispatched as mates are selected and triggered or you can schedule only a single job okay so in that variant of this job uh, this program you can configure whether this is to be used only for fax or this is to be only used for mail or you can use you can schedule a single job for both the purposes now confirmation of receipt of internet messages some recipients of internet messages do not send background confirmation of receipt this is usually because the recipient is using an older version of the internet mail log this has the following effect in the r3 system the sender in the r3 system does not receive confirmation of receipt from these users the send status of the messages to these recipients remain as in transit in the SAP Connect administration. If you know such requests and do not want the status to be remain as in transit, you can specify that the confirmation of that receipt is not expected for these recipients. This means that the status sent successfully that is transmitted by external communication system in the internet is re regarded as the final for messages to these recipients. Now, you run a job or you send manually whatever it is okay so i'm showing you see this is how all the uh, entries are piled up this transaction is for monitoring the source not only for monitoring but for administration purposes also for multi-purpose transaction that is scott is the configuration one this is for monitoring and administration sourced the send request overview transaction now here all the requests are piled up like this okay so you have the send message see this is via internet okay so you can have via fax also you have the title the sender okay from which user from in the sap system this is sent to the recipient okay and the send date the time now this message this message component is again important here see some are green this is yellow this is red and this is grayed out so once you the job runs or you manually select them and here see here you have the one like send directly or send through a background job this option you you know start sending them using this send one okay so you pile up in the queue and then you trigger this execute button so they'll be sent out now once you send out they are like you have to get the status also sap expects the status okay whether it's delivered successfully or it's, you know it failed or it's still this yellow one means it's still waiting to be sent okay so the job has not yet picked it up so now some cases like uh, the fax or you know the internet uh, mail log it has an older version or because of some settings you do not get a confirmation from that particular for of that particular request then they will be in transit status okay so if you don't want to you know see that in transit status then what you can do is you can specify that the confirmation of the receipt is not expected you will say like see i'm not interested in the confirmation okay i don't want a confirmation or, or receive a receipt confirmation from these recipients okay this means that the send status is successful now from your recipe system system it is sent out successfully okay that is enough for you so some cases it runs like that so whatever it is when you run the sourced transaction sost the send request overview transaction it enables you to display and manage all the messages sent using sap connect so here you can see all the messages which are sent from the sap connect via fax or internet or whatever it is okay so in scott you have made all the required configuration you have configured the nodes and you have activated it now you are sending it now whatever has to be sent from sap you will uh, you can view them here okay so they will be either sent successful or they can fail or you know they will be waiting or they will be in transit okay these are all different statuses and here this log is there this log option okay so if, if it failed you can select it and you can check the log like where the problem is sometimes the end user you know email id is wrong or you know he has left the company and his email id is deactivated so these things can happen so then it will fail then you have to correct it and again send it okay now once you correct it and once you put them back in the queue again okay using this option so when the job runs again in the next run it will pick up them and it will try to dispatch it 
so either through a job a periodic job you can send it or from here manually you can using this option you can in the from this source transaction you can send in the request you want to send and send it okay so a trigger should be there that is this program this program is the trigger for all the entries which are waiting in the sap system to be dispatched to you know the, uh, the fax or mail or whatever it is this r is c o n n 01 is the program it's the trigger program that's why it's the send program okay send process it is now you can view all the requests which are waiting or whatever it is it's the monitor transaction for all the entries which are dispatched from the sap system now depending on the selection criteria chosen the program displays send the requests that are sent or have already been sent using sap connect a variety of selection and display options are available to you that's what here you can to display the entries here it's you have various filters basic uh, depending upon the period or the send status see you have waiting error sent and transmitted okay then you have the sender you can filter it depending upon the sender the user id of the sender or other options okay so you can this is customized you can select like what whatever request you want to display here because an administrator wants to see all the requests but if a user runs this sost then he wants to see only the requests which are pertaining to him only so you can, depending upon these various options you will display them and you will have different options here okay different statuses here the successful ones can be you know ignored the other ones we have to look at them and find out like what is the problem is and another important thing is like see you have so many requests which are piled up which are in waiting status say like one hour, every hour the job is running but since last three hours also the requests are waiting then in production systems especially you have to go and check the uh, this mail job or the fax job maybe there is some problem with the job say that job was not running or it ran and it failed whatever the issue is sometimes you know due to a net network issue sap uh, this connect will not be able to access the exchange server or the exchange server is down whatever it is there can be n number of problems okay uh, they can be waiting or they can be failed okay these requests can be waiting or they might have failed that's why like you have to monitor this sost periodically generally once the system is up and it's stable per day they'll monitor see like just after go live it's better to monitor more frequently okay the successful ones not a problem they are dispatched successfully and even sap got a confirmation but in waiting ones if you find long too many entries okay in waiting for a long time those have to be taken care the next one is if you find too many failed entries okay then what's the issue that also has to be taken care okay so you have to check the mail job also because in a production system gen generally they will you know schedule a mail job which picks up all these entries and dispatches uh, periodically so you have to check that mail job if it's running or not if it's running then what is the problem if you know if you see some issue with this entries here so that is important now error analysis various tools are available should errors occur for outbound messages you can check with routing test whether the error is located in the determination of the node using the recipient address you can set a trace for uh, ingoing and outgoing messages you can analyze the messages sent according to their current statuses for example you can display and recent all documents with transmission errors you can set the trace for external communication systems from the sap connect administration the external communication systems use separate tools for error analysis you can see the relevant document uh, documentation depending upon what type of you know connection it is for troubleshooting you can display the mime version of a document so this is the error analysis part okay now you have various uh, options here okay you have various routing tests or you can activate the trees here okay say like so many entries are you know failing you don't know like what's the problem is if you know like it's an incorrect recipient address you can rectify it but there can be some network issues or there can be some other problems also with the exchange server some connection issues okay then you can enable a trace 
okay then you can display and resend all the documents with transmission errors that's what i have said earlier as i've said earlier like the error ones you can display them and try resending them again then you can set the trace also for the external communication systems also then uh, even from the exchange server microsoft exchange server even they have certain tools to enable tracing to find out like where the exact error is okay so generally from sap if you want to find out you know something is failing frequently okay it's some connection problem or whatever it is you are not able to identify it then you can select the one you can activate the trace and then you can try sending it okay then the trace will show you like in detail where the problem is so this source is very important it is used to monitor and administer all the send requests from the sap system and here one more thing which i wanted to tell you is like the messages here see the successful ones have a different message code the waiting ones have a different message code the, the transit ones have a different message code okay and uh, the error ones have a different you know uh, this message code okay so if you just click on this it will let you know like more details about that individual send request whether it's dispatched successfully or it's waiting still to be sent out or it failed okay or it's in transit means like it's sent and sap will not get any receipt confirmation okay so here the important options are just like tracing is important you can display it then you can this is like to put in the queue this one okay this is to trigger trigger the send process this execute button okay the others are like sorting okay that's it so sost is the main transaction for displaying for monitoring and administration of the send request from the sap system and in production systems this has to be monitored every day probably after go live we have to monitor more frequently but once the system is stable i think every day monitoring with this transaction should be good okay and along you know with monitoring this you even you have to check whether like the mail job or the fax job is running periodically or not even that is a good thing to do every day so with this actually we have learned in these two videos the 7a and 7b we have learned about how to send requests from an sap server the internet request or the fa fax fax request okay so first we have learned about the scott transaction scot it has the configuration part and in this video we have learned about SOST transaction which used for displaying, monitoring and administrating the send request from the SAP system. Thank you.